Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about time controls and how you can use time controls in your experiences. Let's go ahead and get started by clicking on create experience and then I will just style my character scene really quick. I'll search for something like hourglass, see what pops up and this hourglass gif looks pretty good, let's use that. In the text we'll just type time controls and we're going to add two buttons. One is going to be for scene timers and the other is going to be for experience timers. Let's explore scene timers really quick. All I'm going to do is add a new character scene and we'll link the button up to the character scene. And in the character scene, if we click on an empty space in the scene, we'll notice that we have our button controls here to style our buttons, but underneath that we have timer controls. So if we click that open and actually turn the notch on, we can see that we can set a timer for number of seconds. Now you'll set the number of seconds under the delay section. I'll set it to seven seconds. And then we have a default transition. So it has to transition somewhere when it completes. Let's go ahead and add another character scene. We'll say timer has ended. And we will set the default transition to go to this scene. Now another thing we want to do is force the user to wait until the timer finishes. So when we do that, it's going to count down from seven to zero, and then once it hits zero, it's going to transition. What you can also do is add buttons, and by adding buttons, it's going to wait until you select a button before transitioning, or if you have this turned on, it will wait till it gets to zero, and then go to the button transition and not the default transition. So let's quickly review. We set up a character scene with a timer. We made that timer seven seconds and we are forcing the user to wait until the timer finishes before transitioning to the scene that says timer has ended. Let's go ahead and add a button that says back to menu. We'll link that up. And now let's explore experience timers. So let's click on add new and then you can see time controls in the left hand side. We have three blocks that you can use right now. Set experience timer, check experience timer, and clear experience timer. So for now we're going to do set experience timer and this is actually going to set up the number of seconds similar to what we did in the character scene. The only difference is that if you use experience timers you can use it across multiple scenes but the timer will not display in the scene itself. So now we have set experience timer and we actually have to give our timer a name. I'll call it tutorial underscore timer and we'll set the duration to 25 seconds. Now we need a scene to transition to, so let's go ahead and add another character scene. I'll just drag that below here, and then we'll link the set experience timer block to our scene here. So we'll just call this the experience timer menu, and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add two buttons. We're gonna add check timer, and we're gonna add clear timer. So let's explore check timer. We're going to add the block from the time control section that says check experience timer. And what this is going to do is it's going to make sure that the timer is still active. We need to use that same timer name so it knows what to look for. So we will copy the name and then we'll paste it in the right hand menu of the check experience timer block. You can see that it also has two transitions for the timer is still active, aka there's still seconds on the clock, and the timer has expired, meaning it has hit zero. So let's add two transitions for branching paths. Here we have one. Now let's add another character scene. We will add two. So in the top one, we will say timer is still active. In the bottom one, we will say timer has expired. Now let's add our transitions. Active is going to go to active and expired is going to go to expired. Let's link up our check timer button and now when we click on this it will run the check in our experience. Now let's explore clear timers. So clear timer is just going to make the timer automatically jump to zero seconds on the timer, meaning it will expire the timer. Let's go ahead and add the block by going into time controls. We have clear experience timer and I will just drag that underneath here. We'll link the button up to the scene. And just like before, we need to use 
the same timer name, so I'm going to copy the timer name and I will paste it into the clear experience timer block. Now all the experience timer block has is one transition, so what I'm going to actually do here is just transition it to the check timer block so that you can see that even though you just started a timer, if you click on this block, it will run the check and show you that the timer has expired. Now we have all of these blocks set up. Let's set up our final buttons. We'll say back to menu and back to menu. All right, we will link these back to our main menu. Here's one and here is two. Now let me zoom out and show you the entire experience. There we go. So here's what we did today. We have scene timers where we clicked on an empty space in the scene, turned on the timer toggle, and set it to seven seconds. It will display at the top of the scene when you're testing the experience. And then we have it to force the user to wait until the timer hits zero before presenting timer has ended. For experience timers, we use the set experience timer block to set up the timer, and then it starts counting down right when we enter into this scene. Now we can wait the 25 seconds and check the timer, and it should say timer has expired. If we check the timer before 25 seconds has passed, it will say timer is still active. If we tap on clear timer, it will clear the experience timer, and then it's linked to run the check again, and it should say timer has expired, even if 25 seconds hasn't passed. Now let me go ahead and publish this experience. We'll call this tutorial time controls, and I'll click publish, and then zoom in so that you can scan this QR code for yourself. Feel free to test out the experience. Timers are very useful tools in your experience when A, you want to add a sense of urgency in a specific scene, or B, you want to let the user wait before completing another task. So I hope you learned a lot about time controls in this video, and we will see you next time.